everyone. Today's lesson is lesson 34, dividing a whole into halves, fourths, and eighths, comparing halves, fourths, and eighths, and writing a unit fraction using fraction notation. So we're going to pretend that these circles are pies, and I'm going to cut out these pies into slices. So one circle is equal to one whole pie. Okay, so let's pretend that you and a friend will share the next pie. So I'm going to divide that pie in half. If you have it on a paper, you would fold it in half. I'm going to draw a line down the center. Okay, so how many equal pieces do I have? Well, I have two equal pieces. And remember, we call each piece one half of the whole. We can also write one half like this, one half. The number on the bottom tells us how many pieces we have in the whole pie. And this is called the denominator. Okay, the top number tells us how many pieces I have um, with just one piece or more. And this is called the numerator. Okay. All right, well, what if I take my circle and I fold it in half, and then I fold it in half again? So I fold it in half, and then in half again. So you can see that I have four pieces, and each piece would be one-fourth. I can also write that as one over four. So remember, the bottom number tells me how many pieces I have in the whole, the denominator. Okay. So I write one fourth with a one in the, in the numerator and a four in the denominator because I have four equal pieces. All right, so I'm gonna have one more circle and I'm gonna use this first one. And let's say I divide it in half once, twice, and then one more time. Okay, how many pieces do I have now? Well, let's count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight pieces. So what do you think each part is called? Well, each piece is called one eighth. Okay. There are eight how there are eight eighths in one whole. Okay, and each piece is one eighth, or I can write it as one eighth. Okay, so each of these is one eighth of my circle. Okay, just like all of these is one fourth, and then we have one half. All right, so remember that the number at the bottom, so in this case the eight, that's called the denominator. Okay. We can remember it because denominator starts with D and so does the word down. Okay. All right. So which piece do you think is the biggest piece? Well, you can tell that half, one half is much bigger than one fourth or one eighth. So one half is going to be the biggest number. Okay. What number is the smallest? So you can see that 1 8 is the smallest size. So if you have, are going to get a piece of pie, would you rather have half a piece of pie, an eighth of a piece of pie, or a fourth of a piece of pie? I don't know. I think I'd rather have half a piece of pie if I really like pie. Okay, and that's it for this lesson. Good luck on your homework.